Hey folks, it's your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. Today's project is a 1997 Buick LeSabre and we're going to be doing an inner tie rod on it. Um, this vehicle needed some other work. Um, you may see some other videos on this vehicle, but uh, today will be the inner tie rod. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these little plastic rivets, push pins, whatever you want to call them out of here to roll this thing back and get it out of the way and get start with this tie rod here to get it apart. So let's do that. I think I'll do it there. I think I'll be able to pull it back from there. How'd that work? I got him out of there. That's bent down over it. Of course that has to be in the way, doesn't it? Alright, we should be able to roll that back. Next I'm going to get this cotter key out of here and remove this castle nut off of here. Oops. I've got the wrenches here. I don't think I'll walk over for the socket to take this off if I got the right size here 18 maybe Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it right here and that should pop out. Ta-da! Now the next thing I'm going to do is I drop this back down in here because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this nut up. So what you want to do now is you want to count your threads um, to this nut so that when you put it back together you'll know exactly where that should go and that for alignment it'll be pretty close. But what, I, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to count the number of turns to take this tie rod off because if this rod differs you know here on the new one you want to make sure that you'll be able to get to it and uh, get it pretty close. So we'll count our turns here. Nineteen, twenty, about twenty. So what I'm going to do now is this is squared off. I'm going to put a wrench on it and then get this nut off of here. Thirteen millimeter works. Now I went and got the socket and everything, it's a 7 8 and actually it's going to turn off there quite nicely. Now there's a clamp up here on this, uh, on your bellows or your boot. So I'm going to take that, take a pair of side cutters, I think you can, I think you can see that up there. Take a pair of side cutters and get that off of there. So we got that off of there. We'll set that to the side because we'll be reusing that. 
And then back up in here, there is a band you have to get off on that boot, which you can't even see it from here. Uh, I'm gonna lift I'm gonna lift the vehicle up. That's one nice thing about having to lift. And then I'm gonna go underneath and probably reach up another way and see if I can get it. it I'm sure you could get it from here. You can feel it. But since I have the means to do it, I'm just gonna lift it up and go in there and do it. So there's that ring. You can see it pretty good. I'm just gonna take and break that and then I'll pull the, the boot back off of this. So I'm not going to hold the camera and do it. It's just a matter of getting whatever you can in there. Screwdriver, don't rip the boot. Um, side cutters, whatever, and get that cut off of there. I also wanted to mention on the boot, there's like a little breather hose here. So you'll want to make sure that, you know, you take that off. And when you put it back on, you get it slipped back up over there. That was something else I wanted to mention. So um, we'll be, as soon as I get this cut, we'll be back. I'll slip that boot off of there now. I got it real loose. I don't have it cut. That should come right off. And then we'll leave the car down so that I can work it out of here a little better. Maybe I'll leave it up like that. After you take the boot off, there's a cap that has to be pushed back. The blue arrow points to that cap that you have to push back and the next scene you'll see it pushed back you just push it backwards and you can use whatever you want a screwdriver uh, a pry bar or whatever so you got to do that to be able to access the part here the next part where you have to put the tool in so up here at the end of the rod there is a place where you can put um, your inner tie rod tool on there. You have to get the right size adapter, and then you can slide that over. And I think my hand sort of gets in the way, but you have flat edges up on, up on top of here, and that will spin that out. So what I'm going to do is go get the right one, fit it over here, make sure it's right. Um, and what I think I'll do is... I'm going to take you, I'm, I'm not going to show you because this is, I just can't get a good angle to actually get in here and, and show you exactly what I'm doing and pointing at stuff. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with the new one out on the bench and the tool out on the bench. And then I'm going to come in here and just all you got to do is put the tool over and spin it off. I'll show you that over there. So what I'm going to do over there in the car is I'm going to take the uh, inner tie rod and you get the right size uh, insert for this tool and you just take it and you put it over your tie rod as such then what you do is there's and there's two detents here there's two little detents and what you do is you got little I don't know if you can see it or not but there's little balls in here so um, on a spring so what you want to do then is once you get that up there over it, then you have to sort of hold it and take that and, you know, push it back. Well, believe me, it works. But up there in the car, this is holding it. So you take that, make sure you get it lined up, and then just push that into your detent in the balls. Oh, believe me, it works. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe my balls are a little rusty. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, you push that over there. For some reason it's not fitting. It does, really. And it'll stay in there. And then, of course, you can just turn this out. It has a half inch. Uh, you put a half inch ratchet on it, and away you go. So that's what we'll be doing over in the car. Try to figure out why this ain't going all the way in, but... That's what we'll be doing. It was a little more of a pain in the butt to get in there, but once you get that adapter over and get this, you know, get it on there, it's not quite as bad as I mean it was a pain it was a little more a pain in the butt than I'd hoped it would be. 
but it's not bad. Now everything slid over. I got that adapter in here. I'm going to go get my big half inch because I just tried it with a short handled one. But uh, I want to go get the big one and see if we can get that loose and get that off there. Okay, here we go. I think she's coming. Well, there went the adapter. It did loosen it up enough now that I can actually take the tool in here and spin it off. The insert, anyhow, the tool. So there it is. There it is. So here we are. Um, length looks the same. Looks pretty good. Parts look the same. This is your new one. This is the old one. We got the nut on for the new one. So. Uh, I say let's go put her on and tighten her up. I am going to put a little bit of Loctite in here just to make sure. I don't think it'll hurt anything. So we'll put a little bit of that on and we'll get this spun back in. Before you put it on make sure you didn't lose that little white cap there that goes uh, you know I know my hand gets in the way but a little white cap that will go over it so uh, let's go get it. I got some blue Loctite on and we'll get her spun together. I'm gonna put my tool back together and get that on there and Get that tightened up. We'll get our boot back on and remember you want to keep this up and you want to get it over that pipe there and then I'm just going to take a tie wrap and put around rather than that metal band and put the clamp on the end here. Okay, it's on there. So now let's get our outside clamp on. Make sure we're pushed out. We're pushed far enough back there. All right, so that's on. So we'll put the nut on. Back to where we have 11 thread showing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, five, four, five, 
1920. Nowhere close. So the number of threads were different between the two. So I took the number of threads from this one which had more and that one and added the difference of threads. So let's see if our 20 count is right now. Now I would think it should hit the nut. Ever could be close. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Well, that's pretty damn close. We'll go with the twenty because that was a better count. But that's why I do it. You know, it was good to do it both ways. Because of the thread thread difference, so you had two ways to check it there, and that'll fit right down in. So I'm gonna get my my uh, 13 millimeter again, and I think this is 21, and I'm gonna uh, tighten this against here. Actually, I have the adjustable here. I think I'll just use that. Cause I don't even know if I have a 21 wrench. that back down in there. We're going to put the castle nut on. Put a cotter pin through it. So pretty much tighten this up and then put the cotter key in it. And we're going to we're going to call this one done. I don't think you have to see me put the cotter key in. I'm just going to tighten this up till it pulls it down. In fact, respects, you know and we'll go from there. Of course with finishing up I forgot you know I'll do this and then I'll put this shield back in and pop those in and of course put the tire back on but I don't think you gotta see any of that that's pretty self-explanatory. So there you have it that's putting an inner tie rod in a 1997 Buick LeSabre. Not much else I can say you see how the job went special tools help you know, I know you can do it other, you can do it without them, but it sure makes life a lot easier. So anyhow, once again, this is your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic, saying, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Till next time, my friends. See ya. Oh, subscribe if you like. Thumbs up. It's all okay. It's all good. Either way. Thanks. Till next time.